Hey guys, Kev here, and I want to do my first impressions on the Eric Oaks Osprey EDX. So, um, this is a knife that Eric Oaks sent me to check out. It's a prototype, actually. I showed it off on Lefty Live the other night, um, but this is the first video I've gotten to do on it. It came in with a couple other packages, and I didn't know what was what, and I didn't have time to record, so I just unboxed it. It being a prototype, uh, just in case I figured I'd, you know, unbox it ahead of time. Um, so this is the first time you're seeing it. I am really liking this knife. Um, the more that I've had it, the more that I've liked it. Um, there are some changes I know of already um, that Eric Oaks will be doing. Um, so that is something to keep in mind. And, uh, perhaps this will just be a, um, overview because this is a knife that, um, you know, he needs to get back, um, cause he's going to be doing another pre-order drop. And I do need to send this off to, uh, Justin from o OCD for EDC next. Um, so I think I'm just going to call this an overview and just show you the prototype and then we can kind of, um, we could do the full review process once we have the actual knife because I did pre-order one of these uh, before I even got the prototype. And I'm glad I did. So that worked out, right? Um, first thing you may notice is that it has a reversible clip. So it has a really nice filler tab that matches the scale. It's really hard to see unless you're staring at it. You know it's there. You probably didn't notice until I mentioned it. Um and you can reverse the clip. This one is set up for lefty carry. Um, I love the design of the clip. Um, they are changing the clip because right now you'll see here uh, it wiggles a little. And that's because I think the screw that goes through isn't long enough or something. Something was amiss with this uh, filler tab or the, the screw in there. And obviously it's Riot. It's being made by Riot. So they're going to take care of it. Not a big deal. I think Eric said they're even going to ship with an extra clip screw um, just in case or whatever. So you're going to have an extra clip screw as well, which is awesome. But the cool part is it's it's a lefty carry knife. You can carry this lefty. I really like that. Um, it goes in and out of pocket very well. I've used the clip, carried it, uh, works really good. I like a good, simple 3D milled clip and look at it. It is just the epitome of simple, but it looks fantastic on this design. Uh, pretty deep carry. I mean, you're going to have like just the butt sticking out, which is really nice. Um, and then if we kind of take an overview of the knife here, you'll see, um, it is a cool looking knife. You have this, um, plain titanium on the scales and backspacer has these ridges in it. Then you have this milling that's up here, this micro milling. I don't know what it's called, but it looks really cool. Um, uh, kind of like chain mail or something. I don't know. Uh, you have this bolster lock, um, and then you have this insert. And this is, uh, I forget the name of the G10, the color, but this is the best G10 I've ever felt on a knife. Um, and I don't know if it's the G10 Riot uses or the color or what. Um, but this is one of the options. Um, and then there's going to be just carbon fiber, like checkered carbon fiber. That's the one I pre-ordered. Um, you'll get an insert of that. And then there's one with OD Green Micarta, I believe. So you have three options, G10, Carbon Fiber, and Micarta, which is pretty damn cool, right? Um, these are coming in at $330. Um, and at least for the pre-order I did the other day, um, I was able to, you pay $150 down, and then you pay $180, um, if my math is right, $180 once the knife is ready to ship. Um, which is pretty cool. I like that uh, some pre-orders do that. I'm not sure if there was an option to pay in full. There might have been. Um, these are going to ship at the end of the year. So Riot is pretty backed up right now, guys. These are already in production. Like he has them in production. Um, and it's still going to be November or whatever, December before they uh, get shipped. So um, that's just Riot being busy because everybody and their mom is using Riot right now. And I'm glad they are. I would rather wait and get the good knife than get it early and have it be 
some shitty OEM, right? So makes sense. Um, I think the price point is pretty much spot on with any other knife maker and knife made by Riot. Um, I just did the full review on the Chavez uh, 229 here. This one's obviously modded by Fanatic Edge, but this knife with a G10 show scale, I believe is $320. Um, so you have that titanium was like 350. Um, I have knives from Liang Ma, $450. Riot, I believe, uses uh, or CKF uses Riot as their parts manufacturer. I believe um, this is like $700, so it's a little different. Uh, a little bit cheaper. We have the Goat here, 279, and the. Um, F5.5, which was 275, 275 in this configuration, 279 for this guy. Uh, the list goes on and on and on. I have um, the Lanny here from Pena Knives. These retail at like 270. So anyway, we're in the ballpark. The J Cape, you know, uh, 350, I believe. So um, 330 makes sense with the materials and uh, I think maybe the G10 is 310 actually. So I take back what I said and my card, it might be 310 too. And I paid 330 for the carbon fiber that could be possible. Um, so yeah, anyway, that's kind of look at it. One thing I want to point out about the, um, kind of design and the, the finish work. And this is what one reason I love Riot. Um, the chamfering and rounding on these edges is phenomenal. Um, I haven't seen them do this on a knife in a, like, so it could partially be because nobody has designed a knife like that, that I've personally handled, but the only knife that comes to mind is the, uh, sharp by design void. Um, the sharp by design knives, even the typhoon, I think they have this extremely precision, extremely well done rounding effect, contouring around the edges of the scales and the scales themselves, right? Um, just absolutely phenomenal work um, and phenomenal design by Eric Oaks. So I wanted to point that out. So then looking at the action in the blade, so you have this flipper tab right here. Now, one of the changes, so there a couple of changes are they're going to make it a little more rounded on the top and the bottom of the clip or the flipper tab. I guess they thought this is a little bit rough. I don't really necessarily feel that, but I, I don't mind rounding. But what I said was, well, if you're going to do that, then, you know, it's already minimal, right? Uh, but he said, yep, they're going to actually extend it out a little bit. So you'll have a little more flipper tab, but it'll be a little bit more rounded and comfortable, which I think is perfect because this is not really a flipper tab that's like getting in the way at this point. So adding a little bit isn't going to hurt. Um, so I think that's a really good adjustment. The clip, he told me something, I forget. It was going to be a little different. Um, I don't know if it was going to have more clearance or less or be a little uh, shorter or longer. Oops, sorry. Um, something like that is happening. So um, what else? I, I'm not sure if there was anything else that was changing that I can think of. Um, so yeah, uh, well, I guess here's one. So the blade here is M390, which is pretty standard for your Riot collabs, right? M390 or LMAX these days. Um, there is the Oaks works and it says EDX, I believe it's really small. Yep. EDX. So I think that means everyday extreme. So this is his, like, if you look at it, like Pena has the X series and Chavez has the Ultramar series or Redencion series. I forget which one. This is his EDX series, which means it's made by Riot. It's a um, everyday extreme carry knife. So um, I can appreciate that. I like that uh, naming convention. Now you'll see this here is Stonewash. Um, there is not going to be a Stonewash. They are going to be Belt Satin, which... Uh, thank you, because I freaking love belt satin from Riot. Um, an example, I got a couple. Again, I, I mean, uh, actually, I have a million of them. Um, here we go. Just start dropping them down on the table here. 
Um, I already pulled all these out, but I just want to show you how much I like a belt satin. This one's not, not, not mine, but belt satin, Chavez, belt satin, field duty, belt satin, Riot, I mean CKF, Evo, belt satin. These are all Riot belt satin knives. Did I leave any out? Um... I don't think so. I think that's it. I'm a maniac. Um, oh, missed one. The uh, F5.5 belt satin. This is LMAX. Uh, the rest of these are M390, I believe. Yep, the rest are M390. This is LMAX. But it just is gorgeous. The lines on it. I'll show you each one real quick because I'm a nerd. Love the F5.5. The field duty, just look at the freaking grind lines on these things. Um, it's just what Riot does so well um, is a machine satin on their um, on their blades, and it just makes me so happy, you know. Um, so if you just picture that on this knife, I just, I mean, I can't wait, cannot wait, J Cape. Oof. And that hollow. And then, of course, the Beast, the Chavez. Same thing. Absolutely fantastic cutter. I should do a battle with those two, the J-Cape and the Chavez, now that I have a thumb stud one in. Anyway, so just imagine that belt satin on this blade. It's going to look fantastic. It has a... Huh, I think it's a hollow. Like a very slight hollow. Or it could be a flat, but I think it might be a hollow. Um, feels really good. Comes down to a good edge. Um, you can see it here. Again, guys, Riot. So you know it's going to be good. Look at that cool swedge up here. Um, just a really cool design, right? Um, so let's get into the action. So again, prototype. So I don't know what will change. The flipper is going to be a little different, so it might change things. But this flipper tab works great. Um, shoots out of there. Um, See, I think that's why they're going to add a little bit to it. Just because occasionally, me personally with my little, my kind of sausage fingers, I can slide off if I'm not paying attention. But it's pretty good if you just kind of like dig in and then pull, right? Um, instead of trying to do the Dirk warning slap, I don't think you can really do that on this knife. Um, shout out to Dirk. But yeah, so the flipper tab is good. Closing action um, is very smooth. Now, it's not like drop shut. Um again prototype so who knows if that will change but you got to understand it's a very light blade you know uh 3.3 inches i believe of m390 not very tall like here's a bug out so you can compare uh, you know the bug out is taller than it by a decent margin um you know it's pretty thin Especially at the end there, and at the end is where your pendulum is going to swing if you're going to have drop shut, you know. Um, so it's just going to be more of a shaker. Uh, now that may change um, with production, with wearing. It may change if you could swap bearings like I always do. But it is very smooth. Um, you know, Riot, they do a great job of making it feel extremely smooth regardless of how drop shut it is. Um, and you can get it to drop to your nail. If you go low enough on this, uh, um, bolster lock, it will drop. And then you're just a quick shake away. So, I mean, it's really just up to the user, how you want to have it drop. If you want to just roll it down like that, if you want to get it to there and then give it a shake down, if you want to do the nail and then shake, you can do whatever you want, right? Um, it's just not a guillotine. Now, a lot of you are screaming at your screen, Kev, 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 there's a fuller, Kev, uh, there's a fuller, dude, can you flick it? Okay, so, the answer to that question is, I'm left-handed, and that's a lock. <laughs> so, me getting under there, I have to get a finger in, and then I have to be off the lock. The answer is, hell yes, I can flick the shit out of this, and I actually land in a good spot, I haven't even mentioned the ergos yet. Let's talk about that real quick. This thing is an ergonomic win. Um, it's thin. It's lightweight. It's super comfortable in hand. When he says everyday extreme, he nailed it. I mean, this thing is perfect for an everyday carry that you can just 
do some work with because it's it's lightweight and small yet it's robust it's built very well that blade thickness is good um uh, comes down to a great edge you have a good hollow on here man i think it's a hollow and then you have this choil as well i mean look at that choil perfect right i fit right in there and i go to work um this thing is really cool, guys. Ergos is really good. Is the Ergos is really good. I sound like a hillbilly, but whatever. Um, yeah. So back to the flick. Yeah. You know, my natural position is to be a little bit higher on here, right? It's to be here, and then I can't get it. Um, so one of the things I told Eric was like, "Dude, if you could raise this up like a centimeter," and he's like, "Yeah, it's in production." Like, you know, sorry. So you know, maybe next time. Um, and that's, yeah, that's fair. Lefties, you know, you're not going to get everything you want. And this knife, as far as I know from him, it wasn't made to flick. Um, that fuller was, is just there. Um, and I talked to him and he said he couldn't flick it. So, um, I can flick it left-handed as long as I lower my, uh, thumb enough and get down there. I can do it consistently. Um, right-handed, I don't think I'm on the lock bar, so I'm not good at this, by the way. Um, I'm pretty sure you could do it. Ah, bang, got it. So you just have to not be on the lock bar. There you go. Um, so you just have to be uh, a cool guy to do it. Like Eric must not be that cool because he can't. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, you know, it's just a, it's an art. It's an art form. You got to just stay off the lock bar. That's the way I feel about it. With any, oh God, with any knife. <laughs> sorry. With any knife, you just gotta stay off that lock bar and you can flick it. So there we go. Uh, so for you guys with the smaller hands, smaller fingers, which you're probably the guys who are gonna buy this knife, right? I mean, I don't see Kyle, DTOM Knives and Gear buying this knife because it's a kind of small, thin knife, right? With a not so huge choil. I mean, it's big enough for my fat finger, so it's pretty big. Um, but like, for the person this knife is for, I think you could flick it. I mean, if I can flick it at relatively at ease when I'm not on camera, right? I can pretty naturally just get in there and flick it. Um, I think most people will be able to handle it. So, yeah, that's a look at the uh, Eric Oaks um, Osprey EDX. So this is a knife he's made a few customs of, and he decided to use the design for a production knife. Oh, I guess I never talked about the detent. Excuse me, Detent Diva over here, not talking about Detents. Uh, which, by the way, if you want your t-shirt, you can still get one. There's still The site is still open for Detent Diva shirts. Um, there should be a link either in the description or go to my Instagram, and it's in my bio, or hit me up, right? Anyway, uh, this Detent, it's Riot, you know? Um, I don't want to take anything away from Eric. Um, it's fantastic. The Detent is nailed. Um... I don't think I could feel it. Yeah, I mean, I'm trying here, and it, it gets it every time. And then it works fantastically for that flick. I mean, it's pretty much money for that flick. Um, and like I said, I can get it every time, so don't you worry your little head. Uh, but you got to be good at it, right? You guys out there that watch my channel, you know. You know who's better than me and who's not. So uh, you'll be able to kind of gauge whether you'll be able to get it or not. Um, plus, I think this is going to be a popular knife, so if you get one and you can't flick it and that kills your soul, you could probably, you know, sell it on the secondary and you'll get your money back because I got a good feeling about this knife. Um, inlays are really good. Um, again, that milling is fantastic. It's just a cool knife. Uh, and I'm, I'm like really stoked that I got to check out this prototype. Um, it's just a cool feeling. I have another one coming from uh luft concepts uh jake from beer to gear and uh ryan uh his partner uh luft concepts i have the avant coming soon to check out a prototype i get to check out the uh asher prototypes uh, a lot of the times or i get the production ones a little early and he takes my input and i, I just really like that i think it's fun that's um it's probably right now my favorite thing about reviewing is being able to have input on knives um and you know so i don't I, i'm gonna try where i can to have people send me prototypes to check out and 
you know, some people don't want to do it. I've messaged a few people who, um, I don't know, they're just reluctant to do it, maybe because they think I'm going to shred their knife. Because <laughs> um, I can be a little ruthless, but um, if it's a good knife, you trust your design, you're, you're probably going to be fine. Um, but anyway, off into the weeds there. This is a really cool knife, Eric Oaks Osprey EDX Prototype, coming at you hot. Um, he will be having a pre-order launch again in August, so he's kind of doing them in drops, which I think is really cool. Um, I got in on the last one here in July, and um, it's going to be in August, so if you want information on that, if you're interested in this knife, you can email him. Um, ah, crap, I think it's uh, info at oaksworks.com. Um, I will put that in the description, but I believe it is info at oaks which is O C H S works W O R X dot com. Um, and you'll be basically put on a list to get notifications and stuff. And then when he does the pre-order, you will know, um, you can also just message me on Instagram or leave a comment and I can shoot you that email. You can DM me or sorry, DM Eric on Instagram at o Oaks works. Um, so there's plenty of ways to get in contact with him to find out when exactly these are dropping. Um, I think it's a really cool project. It's just another one in a line of amazing knives coming out that I have on pre-order. It's insane. Um, and this one is really exciting. So I think it's going to be a really cool just for me. It's going to be a really cool just like everyday user type knife and um, I don't necessarily do that with all my knives like think of them that way um, I may carry another knife to use in case something comes up right uh, but this just feels like a knife I would want to take out of my pocket and use like you know you, you could use it as a steak knife you could use it to cut open boxes you can use it for anything it's just really really cool um, so yeah I'm gonna shut up now uh, thank you, Eric. Big shout out. Appreciate you uh, sending this my way. I'm going to get this off to Justin from OCD for EDC. Um, check him out as well. And I uh, love you guys. I hope you have a fantastic day. And I will catch you later.